San Diego's Jazz 88.3. They Say It's Spring. Jeffrey Keezer and Jillian Margot uh, from uh, previously unreleased music, as far as I know, and uh, we'll get the whole scoop on that. But joining us here in the studios is Jeffrey Keezer and Jillian Margot. Welcome back to the new jazz thing. Yeah, hey, thanks, thanks for having us. us. All right, so uh, Jeffrey, you get up on your mic just a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, That's so we... we I want to make sure that we hear you. Okay, great. Um, so, um, as I said, welcome back to the New Jazz Thing. You guys are playing um, first. You guys are sounding great on uh, this new music. Um, they say it's spring. So is this something that you just recorded? Uh, tell us a little bit about the tune we were just hearing. Yeah, well, we had uh, we had started playing that tune a little bit when we started doing these duets together. And um, not that long ago, we decided, gee, you know, we should really record some of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What a concept. Um, just so that, you know, to give people an idea of what we do sound like when it's just the two of us. And uh, yeah, we like that tune. It's bouncy. It's always nice in San Diego. So <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, springtime all the time in San Diego. So is this uh, this um, relationship uh, of you two playing together and doing these duo things is something you've been doing now for a while? And we're hearing some recorded music. Is there, do you have any plans for putting this out uh, in any way? Yeah, maybe. I mean, like Julian said, these are just some things that we just uh, did in the studio maybe about a week ago. And just kind of for fun and just to, you know, sort of just kind of start getting a feel for, you know, what it might sound like if we were to record together. So yeah. this may turn into a record or it may not, but for now at least there's, there's something on tape, you know. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about this tour, Jeffrey. You guys are on the on a West Coast swing and you guys are doing some uh, shows here. I had read that this is the uh, California month for you. This You're playing totally. all California dates. Yeah. So tell us about what's coming up this Thursday. Yeah, this Thursday. So we're at Dizzy's uh, in San Diego, which is such a wonderful grassroots you know, venue, um, and uh, we're going to be doing something a little different this time. Uh, you know, normally if people are familiar with the venue, the stage is sort of on one end of the of the room. Well, uh, Chuck Perrin suggested that we do it in the round this time, so this, the piano and the vocals will be sort of right in the middle of the room with the audience sort of wrapping around it, so it'll be a really interesting experience for the audience. Uh, yeah, I've seen uh, maybe a couple different setups like that uh, yeah. at Dizzy's that yeah. are really unique uh, to do that. So, Jillian, since you guys have been doing this for a while, how has uh, this changed from when you started? Um, other than, you know, just maybe the obvious things about being more familiar with each other, um, is there new material that you guys have didn't think that you guys would be doing or things that uh, something that, uh, that kind of is different about what you're doing now than when you were with us back in November of 2014? Well, I would say that definitely... Um We've been starting to venture into some new material. Initially, when we started getting together, it was just, oh, let's just call, you know, standards that we know, or let's go on, you know, repertoire that I have recorded on my my albums and things that Jeffrey's done on his. And and uh, recently, we just started, you know, deciding that we were going to just come up with tunes that we really like and sort of arrange on the spot and really, you know, uh, play them together and just see what happens. 
And you know, you'll hear that, uh, for example, with Across the Universe. And then just see you know, how it evolves. Um, and then you know, bring some really cool arrangement ideas into that. Um, so that's been kind of neat because it's, it's a bit more of a collaborative effort than it was, I think, before, where we were just sort of, well, you know, I've recorded this too, let's try this. And, and, uh, and even with the other track, uh, Suddenly I See is something that uh, Jeffrey recorded on Heart of the Piano, and I really liked it. And so I kind of um, imposed upon him to let me sing it with him, and we kind of came up with a different arrangement of it. So I really like that. So Heart of the Piano, uh, Jillian mentioned, that was your, uh, I think it's now two years uh, old uh, yeah. solo piano work, first uh, solo piano work you had recorded in, I don't know, 15, 14, 15 years. Yeah. Uh, it had been yeah. a while. And you did that music uh, live for us here at Jazz Live um, on our stage here, here at the Seville Theater, which was a fantastic experience. You've worked with a lot of, vocalists and you, yeah. you've done a lot of uh, work there. Can you tell us uh, kind of what is different about working with um, Jillian and uh, and the, the rapport that you guys have together? Yeah, I mean every, everybody's different and, and certainly I don't put vocalists all in one category, you know, every vocalist is as different as, you know, any horn player, you know, a saxophone from a trumpet from a vibraphone or anything else. Um, I've been fortunate to work with a lot of great vocalists, Diane Reeves and Nancy King, um, Denise Donatelli, there's just so many, uh, Lisa Fisher, um, but uh, you know everyone brings something different to the table and, and Jillian has a really unique quality to her voice, unique, unique sound, and she is also a songwriter and a composer as well. So when we improvise things on the spot and kind of create arrangements as we go, you're hearing a very compositional sort of mindset coming from Jillian as well. So that's kind of fun. It's like. You know, we're, we're kind of composing and arranging and, and improvising all kind of wrapped into one. Well, let's hear a little bit more music, but uh, Jillian, tell folks again um, where you guys are going to be this Thursday. Okay. We're at Dizzy's Jazz Club here in San Diego on Thursday the 17th, and I believe our show starts at... 8 p.m. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Um, and then uh, where can folks find out more information about this particular show, Jeffrey? Um, let's see. I usually go to Google, but it's Dizzy's... Is it Dizzy's Jazz? Dizzy San Diego. DizzySanDiego.com Dizzy Diego. Yeah. is where is That's the so site for the venue. Okay, great. And uh, we're going to hear some of the music uh, from uh, the tune Across the Universe. I think you talked a little bit about it. Uh, any thoughts from you, Jeffrey? Yeah, this is a Beatles tune that I've been playing um, for probably 15 years. And uh, we, again, we kind of worked out our own version of this. Yeah. And uh, it's really just, it's pretty. I really, I thought a lot about um, the Hawaiian guitarist Kayla Beamer, uh, another person I love to collaborate with, and, and the way that he might approach something like this. So I'm playing a bit of maybe slack key piano <laughs> on this. You know. Well, that'll be interesting to yeah. hear. Uh, we're chatting with uh, Jeffrey Keezer and Jillian Margot. They're going to be playing at Dizzy's this week here in San Diego. You'll be able to find out more about that at jazz88.org and Dizzy San Diego. This is the tune Across the Universe on the new jazz thing, San Diego's Jazz 88.3. Okay, mics are off. Okay. Be careful when you're speaking that you don't turn. Because okay. it, yeah. Words are flowing out like a spray. did a nice mix, I'm going to say. Into a paper cup. We did these up at Sprague's. They live <laughs> Warm sound of Sprague Studios, Sprague Land. Nothing. 
first appeared on the various artists' charity compilation, No One's Gonna Change Our World, December 16th. Oh, and in a different form, let it be. San Diego's Jazz 88.3 and music there from Jeffrey Keezer and Jillian Margot. Across the Universe is new music they brought to us tonight here on the New Jazz Thing and joining us here live in the studios are Jillian and Jeffrey. Welcome back to the New Jazz Thing. Thank you. Thank you. So, Jeffrey, you have another date coming up here in San Diego uh, in October that we wanted to talk a little bit about. I was really excited to uh, see this venue. I had not seen uh, any jazz dates at uh, the Glass House here in Barrio Logan. So tell us a little bit about uh, about the win and what you're going to be doing. Yeah, so um, it's October 13th. It'll be a duo gig with Jillian Margot and myself, and uh, with the addition of a string quartet uh, from the Art of Elan Ensemble, which is a wonderful uh, nonprofit organization in San Diego. They present concerts all through the year, and they have a, a great, great collection of musicians that they uh, that they use, and they're always looking for really interesting kind of alternative venues and different kinds of things to present. So um, it's, uh, let's see, there's a trio playing before us called the Now Ensemble, and then we're the second half of the program at 8.30. So how did you get uh, hooked in with uh, the Glass House? So um, via the Art of Elan, uh, it's... Mm. Um, a group that I've worked with before over the years, and uh, it's run by uh, Catherine Hatmaker, who is a violinist in the San Diego Symphony, and um, they're just doing some wonderful things, so it's really fun to work with them. So that should be a, an interesting uh, change to be working with strings. Uh, yeah. Jillian, have you uh, have you done much work with uh, with strings? I've done a lot of work with strings as part of uh, singing as part of a choir or a chorale. Um, the Nathaniel Beck Chorale specifically, I toured with uh, in. They're based in Canada, um, as a soloist and as a, a chorister. Uh, but this will be the first time in a sort of smaller setting. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really excited, actually. We're sort of working on arrangements now <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> to get some of these uh, some of these tunes adapted for a string quartet. We're really excited about it. Excellent. Yeah. Well, uh, you got a little bit of time. Um, Jillian, I wanted to ask you one more thing um, about... Uh, you know, since the last time you were here and, uh, and with us, you had what uh, seemed to me a very interesting uh, experience being an artist in residence in Hong Kong. Um, you were there from November till March, yeah. uh, and the end of March, uh, doing, uh, doing work there. Tell us a little bit about that experience. Well, it's, uh, it wasn't my first time doing that. It was, I guess, my fourth. Mm. Um, I had done uh, in residency gigs uh, at hotels in Asia, a few times over the last, say, eight years, um, it's great because, you know, <laughs> you get to be in the same place every night and the audience comes to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. Um, I wouldn't say that it's quite of the budget of Las Vegas or anything like that, but uh, it's a really cool experience because you're working with local musicians. Um, sometimes you get maybe an accompanist that might be coming from New York, as as was in this last case in Hong Kong, and uh, it's a really wonderful kind of it's just a wonderful experience to collaborate with musicians from you know different countries in the world and and perform every night for um, travelers and business people and so on. Uh, yeah, yeah, I imagine a really mixed crowd. Absolutely, uh, to, culturally to see that. and you know just everything and reasons why they're in that country or at that place. So, right. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so uh, any interesting insights into uh, that kind of a crowd, uh, an international traveler crowd that's not maybe not necessarily uh, coming there to look for jazz, but uh, sees mm -hmm. that there's uh, that that's happening? Yeah, I think a lot of it is, is often advertised as jazz, but what always... What I always find to be remarkable is how many people are very supportive and very interested in, you know, the individual artist and the music that I'm actually doing. So a lot of those people have followed me and, you know, buy my album and, and pay attention to what I'm, where else I'm performing and where I'm touring and that sort of thing. So that always kind of astonishes me that, you know, people are so supportive when they just happen upon you mm -hmm. uh, at the hotel where they're staying or working. So That's awesome. Great. Yeah. So, Jeffrey, uh, before we end here, I uh, wanted to just kind of find out what other things you've been doing. I know uh, I was looking through your schedule and you've been playing with Chris Bodie uh, quite a bit yeah. um, and doing that. Um, what other things have you been doing or uh, things that you've got uh, coming up and planned? Well, um, let's see. Uh, the, another vocalist that I work with, Denise Donatelli, she's got a new album coming out. Mm -hmm. um, actually, September... Uh, what is it, maybe 23rd or 24th. So you produced, did you work produced, as producer yeah, the last this, disc, and did you do yeah. this one too? Oh, yeah, okay. I produced and arranged this one. It's the fourth one we've done right. together, so that's pretty cool. Um, mostly just touring with Chris and uh, trying to get some things happening on my own and with Jillian as well, and hey, you know, have, have piano, we'll travel. Excellent. So. <laughs> Good to hear. So, Jeffrey, where can folks find out more about you or connect up with you? They can go to www jeffreykeezer.com, which is spelled G-E-O-F-F-R-E-Y-K-E-E-Z-E-R.com. <laughs> and uh, Jillian, uh, for you, where do folks uh, meet up with you? It's pretty simple. Very similarly, uh, my website, which is www.jillianmargo.com, which is spelled G-I-L-L-I-A-N-M-A-R-G-O-T.com. Excellent. Okay, great. Well, we have one uh, more tune uh, to go out with, and this is Suddenly I See. Uh, uh, pop tune, uh, yeah. recent pop tune. Um, uh, who wants to tell us a little bit about what you guys wanted to do with this uh, kind of new standard uh, pop tune? Yeah, it's a, it's a tune by a Scottish artist named Katie Tunstall that I heard playing actually at Claire de Lune Coffee Shop <laughs> in San Diego. <laughs> and I said, you know, any tune that I hear uh, anywhere, if I like it, I want to learn it and do something with it. So we, we kind of Brazilianized it a little bit and gave it a little bit of a different... Uh, I don't know, di different kind of style, but it's it's fun, and, and it's nice having the vocals on it, too. Excellent. Well, uh, Jillian and Jeffrey, great to have you guys back, and uh, good luck with the gig this Thursday. And, Thanks, uh, And actually also in October here at uh, the Glass House. Right on. Thanks right. for having us on. You're listening to The New Jazz Thing. All the interviews uh, for The New Jazz Thing and our entire show are going to be online on the Jazz 88 Speakeasy at jazz88.org. From New Music, uh, Jeffrey Keezer and Jillian Margot, this is Suddenly I See on the New Jazz Thing, San Diego's Jazz 88.3. There we go. Wave bye-bye. There you go.